Okay, so I need to fill in the gaps here because I never like to leave a series unfinished on my channel. Um, and for those of you who haven't seen this before, I was playing the Tamerlane campaign for Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, and I never finished it because my PC was just not really good enough at the time. Um, it, the performance was really bad. So I bought a new PC. It's been over a year, um, but I'm determined to finish this campaign. So we're going to go on to the mission Sultan of Hindustan. There's an achievement associated with this mission, which is to defeat Delhi while having at least five minutes left on the timer. Uh, so we're going to go for that as well. I have played this before for a few minutes at least. Uh, well, I got at least halfway, so I kind of know what to expect. Um, so hopefully we will be able to do it in good time. Although I am kind of out of practice, as you might imagine. But yeah, let's jump in and let's see what happens. Listening to the stories of the stranger had stirred our appetites and we eagerly began to devour our meal. I invited the old man to sit next to me. I still thought that this Tamerlane was more myth than man. Surely he had been beaten in a battle at least once. The man has the cunning of a wolf and the composure of an owl. In some battles he strikes hard at the center of the enemy line, while in others Swift horsemen outflank the opposition. Then they feign a retreat to bait the enemy into a trap, a storm of arrows. When Tamerlane decided to cross the Tiber Pass into India, a different and terrifying challenge faced him. The armies of the Delhi Sultanate ruled the battlefield through the powerful elephants, monstrous beasts known to crush a horseman with a single foot. Throwing up his lines, the clever warlord waited to spring his latest trap. Okay, so a battle is about to kick off. Uh, there's some other stuff we can go through later, but for now let's just kick this off. So what's going to happen is these flaming camels are going to go forward, and they're going to... The narrative is going to explain it as the elephants are going to turn against our opponents um, and rout, not rout, run amok, um, but really what's happening is we take control of them, so we're going to try and keep them alive if we can, I'm not sure we can. Um, something that has happened since I actually tried this out is um, long swordsmen have actually been buffed. They've got one more defense than they used to have, um, so I'm not sure this is actually as easy as it was when I last played it. And we can see we are taking some losses. I need to send these pikemen forward, I think. We need to go for these elephant archers as quick as possible. Uh, we have mostly kept these elephants alive. A few are close to death. If we can rescue some, that would be ideal. Let's send these up too. I think this elephant's probably going to get killed, but we're going to try and rescue it. We will get some monks. Okay, how's this going? Not too great. Just need to rush over here, I think. Yeah, we've got a few um, a few town centers, which we start off with, but uh, we're not able to use them just yet. I think we have to officially win the battle, which seems to me we have. But there must be some kind of straggler that we need to kill off. Yeah, so that's Delhi. We don't want to go up to that. That's not safe at all. We've kept the elephants alive, which is good. I don't think I managed that before, but I also had a lot more units before um, than I did this time. So I've got more elephants and fewer pikemen. Uh, fewer Keshiks and things like that, so I'm not sure what to make of this. It still says I've not beaten his army, so this is clearly a bug at this point. We're going to go look for some kind of straggler. Um, I don't think the time has kicked in yet, so we shouldn't actually be losing as a result of this. There's got to be something. Yep, so clearly not the intended behavior. I think it's literally just one unit somewhere. We've got to go hunt down. Don't want to go that close to Delhi, though. Pretty fortified. So that's not going to go too well. I'm going to try going to the east. Let's just spread out. Have a look in all the different directions. Oh my god. I've literally explored, like, the entire map. I must have lost, like, five extra... Cavalry archers, and then I finally found it in like the last little square that I hadn't seen. 
So yeah, we got uh, 90 minutes to kind of get this going. Unfortunately, this has happened now. Uh, there's an elephant that's just wandered into our base. So, got to go deal with that thing. Taking a few unnecessary losses, but never mind. So what we need to do is we need to kind of go between the different um, little outposts and things, which I think weakens Delhi. And then once you've done that, uh, you're then able to actually go for the kind of big attack, and I think you steal resources or something. Let's actually have a look at that, just to confirm. Uh, so, three military camps. No, that's us. Uh, the army of the Shah we've beaten. The city of Delhi, we don't actually attack the city. That's kind of like a neutral city. Um, but the garrison, we do attack. Uh, so we have to take them on. They kind of have a pretty balanced force. And yeah, it's the outlying Indian villages and monasteries that we have to um, kind of finish off. I'm not sure the forces we have are necessarily enough to do that, although the elephants might be able to. Uh, if we just send over the healthy ones, so let's send these back. Uh, there should be another one we send back to. We send this one back. So if we take these elephants, that might just about be enough to go and attack blue in the east, although I'm, I'm not necessarily convinced um, we're now being drawn away by this thing. Yeah, we've got another elephant. Okay, that's all an annoying distraction. This has gone a bit wrong. Okay, so we've got plenty of resources just about everywhere. We're building lots of villages. Let's keep those coming. Let's go for Elite Skirmisher. I think the composition we're going for is going to be... I could go for Keshex. I think Cavalry Archer is also really good. You pretty much have effectively unlimited uh, resources on this map. It's pretty generous, um, as long as you actually go and pick it up, that is. I'm going to have to finish this thing off with my Cavalry Archers, which is not ideal, but they're my only fast units. So I'm going to go give it a go. Big waste of time, but let's just do it. Okay, so blacksmith, let's have a look. Let's go for bodkin arrow. Let's go for leather archer armor. Um, let's definitely keep these uh, cavalry archers coming. Let's queue up hand cart. Let's queue up iron casting, I guess. We've got a lot of free villagers here. Let's just spread them out, put them on farms. I need to set up some... Uh, Spawn points. Set this one on this. Get bowsaw. Gonna finally take this thing down and we can start focusing on other things. So in these mountains you will find some monasteries and some monks. Um, and you'll also find really good access to... Pick up some more cavalry archers. Really good access to stone and gold as if you needed any more. Um, it's already pretty generous as it is, but still. So we're reaching the point now where we can potentially go for our first castle, which I'll probably put pretty close to the gates of Delhi. I'm hoping this force, it's pretty imbalanced, but I'm hoping it will be enough. Okay, I can hear the monks going for the converts. I want to rush past these, but I don't think I can. Okay, we killed most of those, let's go for the monks. And let's actually send in some kind of siege, I think. Let's kill this. Did manage to get a convert, but never mind. Just keep getting that economy going. Let's actually send these guys to work. So we're going to send most of them just over onto wood. And then a few that are left, we're going to send over to gold. Okay, so this is kind of a waste of our time, but we do need to wipe it out. Um, if we could actually send something else, so we've got the barracks just here, that's not really good enough for that. I'm going to send our two weakened elephants to do it. Uh, we can potentially steal a relic for ourselves too. Um, so in terms of resources, we're fine for gold, we're fine for stone. Let's actually send some of these guys to build a castle, which we're going to drop. Potentially that's a little bit too close. Let's go for an actual useful location. I mean, it's, it's a pretty sparse map, there's not too many resources. Let's just go for this kind of location up here. And uh, then we've got these forces, which we're going to start moving towards the east. Although actually, we've got the same thing up in this direction. There's uh, another monastery that we need to go and take out. And um, we have got some knights, so let's build some of those. Or the ability to build knights, I should say. Let's go for that, and anywhere else we can spend our gold, we should definitely go for. Let's keep the villagers coming. Doing fine for wood now, so let's move on to farming instead. Let's send our villagers to work on wood chopping. 
Okay, so let's see. So we're going to send these guys to just rush over here. We're going to get converted by monks again. Um, but we should be okay, I think. It's going to be a similar composition to before. Let's have a look. Okay, so we might be able to take on the swordsman without going in for the monks, because the monks are, of course, going to convert us pretty quickly. We can see a monk just there. Let's go rush him. Okay, at this point, we should be able to rush them, I think. Yeah, no more monks. That was pretty weak. Cool, so we got ourselves some elite Mamelukes. So the next big target, I think, is the blue player, who's over in the east. Let's start moving in that direction. Let's build some more villages. Let's actually throw up a monastery over here. And we're going to need these over in the east as well. Okay, composition a little bit imbalanced. Let's start building some more. I think knights are good, but they are going to be building camels, so we probably want camels ourselves. And these guys are all units. Let's keep some of these weakened units near to where we're going to build a monastery. Let's get these knights. Let's send them to the east as well. These forces slowly making their way over. So the blue player is not too strong, but... Still probably the strongest player outside of Delhi itself. So I need to be a little bit careful of that. Uh, these guys are done with their castle. Clearly doing fine for wood now, so let's move on to farming instead. That's getting a bit messy, I think I need to throw down a mill. Uh, spawn camp for these, let's go with over here. So there's going to be some trade that we need to kill off too, which should be pretty straightforward with these if we just park them on the road. Should be able to snipe a few trade carts, I'm pretty sure that's one of the goals. So yeah, to win the actual map we need to take out five castles. Uh, outside of that we just get rewarded for doing some general damage and harassing things. So yeah, this part should be pretty easy. We're going to send our Mamelukes to take on this. Uh, we're going to try and walk our elephants in. And let's jump back to this. Let's build a monk. Okay, here we go. So the knights have made it in. They're currently a bit isolated, so I'm going to pull them back. I'm going to go elephants first. Not got the best raises there. Okay, and now we're kind of struggling for gold, so let's kind of refocus a bit. So these guys are all done. Yeah, so this whole location is really good for like, um, for gold, for stone, for anything like that. Uh, we're about to finish this thing off, or at least we're getting pretty close. Got ourselves the relic, let's bring that back. Bring these guys into heal too. Okay, let's see, so this is looking pretty good. Need to be a little bit careful of the the spearmen, they can do some damage to our elephants. Uh, there's a town center just through here, which I think is the main thing we need to take out. Uh, also, of course, need to deal with these watchtowers if we can. I'm going to put these guys and stand ground. Just keep focusing on dealing with the trade cards as they come through. So yeah, a little bit of an imbalanced force. It's not great for taking on these buildings, unfortunately. Um, but it will take out these spearmen pretty quickly. I think I need to focus these on the town center. Uh, I need to try and get up, get myself a few more knights, I think. Okay, so clearly... Clearly doing fine for wood at this point. I'm gonna start refocusing a bit. Okay, that's a bit of extra resource, so let's start recruiting some more cavalry archers. Uh, let's recruit some more camels if we can. No, we're going to have to kind of move into trash a, a bit, I think, unless we start going for some more gold, which we can do. Um, 
So we're busy up there. There should be some more gold lying around. Yeah, there's a little bit there. Let's keep ourselves nice and busy. So we've taken out the town centre. The elephants are still alive. Start wiping out some of these units. Try to minimise our elephants' exposure to these spearmen. Do need to be using these camels as much as possible. Had these forces here the whole time, didn't they? Still, it's just the one elephant, really. Um, it's half dead. Send it in this direction. Uh, dealing with most of this stuff, fine. Farmers are still going. I can't see a mill. Oh, no, there is one there. Okay, let's finish all these off. Send our camels across, keep our economy going. Okay, so that should bring in some gold. Uh, let's start getting some upgrades. So what's going on up here? Getting killed off. I think I do want to try and go to the Imperial Age. That is definitely a good idea. We have got time. Uh, we still got 71 minutes, so... Effectively we have 65 minutes. As long as we get this done... Before the timer reaches 5 minutes, we do get the Raging Wildfire achievement. I don't think these guys have murder holes, so let's just pull in close to these. Don't want to be wasting my... Cavalry Archers on this, ideally. Okay, we've got a bunch of Knights, that's going to help out a lot. I didn't want to waste time sending Siege over here, that's the other thing, it's a bit slow. Hoping we could just wipe them out with the units instead. Okay, so over here our monk is still healing, but that's uh, not really worth doing right now. Let's go pick this up and bring it back. Bring these two round, and these guys are just not doing anything. Okay, so that's a, a big waste of villages, but never mind. Okay, like I said, I'm a bit out of practice, but that's fine. Um, this is, this is, I think, a fairly generous mission. You can kind of play it a bit relaxed. Let's just keep checking the villages. So I think we need to probably redo our spawn points. We must have quite a few villages by now. Probably too many, if anything. Yeah, definitely too many. Plenty of resources too. Need to go to the next stage, definitely. Uh, gonna start getting some upgrades too, and we don't have a university, so let's get one of those. Okay, gold shaft mining. Uh, I don't think we need to go for crossbowmen particularly. The silk armor is going to be extra armor for our cav archers. I didn't realize it applied to those. We definitely want to go for that. Probably need a few of these villages to die. Let's actually check this. What do we need to do exactly? So we know about the mountains. We know they're full of monks and swordsmen. There's some to the south as well, which I did spot while I was hunting down that final skirmisher. Uh, what else is there? This must tell us. So we just need to plunder them. We might have already done that, to be honest. I'm not sure we actually gain anything from continuing to attack this. Maybe we go for the market. Okay, so we want ballistics, I think. Uh, we probably want masonry, we probably want treadmill crane. Monk's bringing this back. A couple of units here we can bring over. If our villagers start dying, that's fine. Uh, we should probably actually risk a few, I think. Just to drop another castle, since we have plenty of stone. Let's go for this. Imperial Age is on its way. Okay, so in terms of upgrades, we're doing fine. Uh, Indian Merchants. So taking out the docks actually helps us. 
that's the next thing to do. Yeah, so we need to delete some villages. What do we definitely not need? We don't need these two. We're gonna have to make some tough decisions and start killing these off, I think. Yeah, we're gonna let these go. We need to actually start getting some units. Uh, these guys we don't really need either, but let's not go overboard. Get some rams. Castle has gone up, we can probably go for a third. I mean, we don't really lose too much from that. It's gonna really enable us to make a push. I've made it to the Imperial Age, let's go for a couple of trebs. Go for Heavy Camel. Okay, here we go. Strong push is about to kick off. I'm going to take all the Cav Archers, I'm going to leave the rest because Cav Archers of course are not going to really raise buildings, but they are going to be useful um, against units. We bring them over here. Losing a few villages here, but that's fine. Let's start taking down the castle. So we need to take down five castles in total. Uh, these guys are going to wander in, but they're going to be pretty easy targets. Let's go for a couple more upgrades. And we're starting to run out of food. I don't think I have a market. I've not been looking for one. Yeah, so there we go. They're sending out a bunch of swordsmen. It's not really a problem. Should have some rams coming over too. Scorpions, easy for our castles to deal with. I think just lots of trebs probably will get the job done. Soak up some hits. Okay, so 300 food for this. Let's just go for it. Uh, can I actually check my composition? I've forgotten how to do this. That's definitely not the one. Okay, so yeah, we definitely got too many villagers, although it's, it's not so bad. I think that's fine at this point. We're not being attacked too heavily. Gates should go down pretty soon. Keep the trebs coming. I'm trying to figure out if long swordsmen are going to help. I don't think they're going to make too much difference. I think just camels plus cavalry archers should be fine. Keshiks could work too, the problem is going up against their actual camels, um, they're not going to be ideal for that. So let's push through these gates and there should be some units inside, we should be able to handle them fine but still. Let's get some more pierce armor for our camels. Uh, what else can we do? Chemistry is going to help, siege engineers definitely. So very much bumping up against the popcap. Let's go for the gates. Let's rush through. Let's see what we see. So there's going to be four more castles at least that we need to find. So we can see some camels here. Let's go take them out. Uh, let's start working this down. Pick out the camels. What have we got left up here? So we're taking down the market, that's fine. Send these to the west. So you can see that a lot of these kind of grey buildings you can't actually attack because we are technically um, the ally of Delhi. I think that's just supposed to be... You know, the differentiation between the actual garrison that we need to wipe out and the city which we are trying to become the ruler of, so we don't want to actually destroy it. Wow. There's a lot here. We've officially taken out blue and it looks like we're not actually rewarded for that. 
do need to lose some units. So no sign of a castle up there. There will be more castles for sure. So there's going to be... Yeah, there's one castle there. Um, there's going to be one towards the back, I'm sure. Let's just start cleaning these out. Okay, so we've taken losses to quite a few of our camels. Should probably start sending some more in. So their composition, it's a lot of elephant archers, which is actually a bit of a problem for me. Probably need some more stables. Yeah, Treb's starting to be a bit isolated now. Um, do I actually have any more units I can send up? So these are coming on their way slowly. Need to speed them up a bit. Starting to be a little bit overwhelmed. Uh, so this is probably the kind of situation where I need to go and build another castle. Let's try and drop one in their base. I'm going to take the chance that at some point pretty soon we will have wiped this stuff out. Doing fine for Trebs, and um, they just have a few more units than I expected. Okay, so starting to push them back on that side, and this side still having some serious problems. Trebs are very much threatened. Uh, I think if we just start going for Keshiks, I mean, they're not good against camels, but against camel, uh, against elephant archers, they should get the job done. We definitely want conscription too. Um, we're actually struggling for food. Timurid Siegecraft for extra trebuchet range could be useful, but depends what it costs us. Doesn't cost us food, so let's go for that. And yeah, I am going to build a market. I'm not sure if I have one. No, I don't. Okay. So yeah, gonna go for that, gonna trade some wood. And gonna get myself some more food. Castle does go up. Throw down a couple of archery ranges. So I'm hoping that was just most of their units gone and that they're not actually producing them. Need to keep looking for castles. No, they are still producing them. Okay, so big rush of camels coming over. Uh, let's get in these. Send our own camels up to finish them off. Or in fact, they should be fine. We need to focus on just going for the castles. Uh, I don't know if we have murder holes. No, we don't. Let's just go for it. Got plenty of resources for that. Okay, so we can see some elephant archers there, some scorpions. Send some back up. Let's see, what can we destroy? So, a couple of barracks there to finish off. Yeah, we're still bumping up against this pop cap. Units are stuck behind the trebs. No point pulling back though. Okay, so we've still got 45 minutes left of in-game time, so despite the, the messiness of this and the complete inefficiency, um, it is going to be done. For sure. There are villages in the south that we can take out, but as far as I'm aware, um, we might get some more Mamelukes for that, or we might just get some... some resources, but either way, I don't think it's too important. Need to actually build up a bigger mass. Need to let some of these units go, I think. Two castles to go.
Okay, so next castle we have two choices. We can go for this one or we can try and push a little bit deeper. Uh, there should be some more castles, I'm sure, towards the corner. Okay, let's do some scouting. Yep, there is a castle at the top. Okay, so castle in the north and castle to the east. If we go for those two next, we should be fine. I think we've lost most of our trebs. Uh, we have got some rams. Probably do want a couple more trebs. these guys up. I might just start deleting villages en masse. Like we don't need these. Well we kind of do need the gold, uh, we kind of do need food. I'm sure we have plenty of idle lumberjacks. Okay, let's send our rams to the east. Let's go for that castle. And then we should have some trebs. So this is clearly the big boss castle surrounded by lots of guard towers. Um, should still be fine as long as we just send something up to absorb some shots from that. Some barracks, got some monasteries, which are producing monks, so let's keep attacking those. Still got 45 minutes to go, so yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure how you can lose this one. Because I have been playing far from perfectly. Still killing off these monks, yeah, so they're not, they're not actually getting any converts on us, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, trebuchets, we've got a few. Okay, let's send these to attack the northern castle. Rams are on their way to attack the eastern castle. Let's just make sure they're supported. Need the rams to go in first so that they're actually taking the arrow fire. And I'm not seeing any sign of actual defenders. So that's fine. Let's move these to the east. Send these across to support as well. Just check for any more units. So that is the edge of the map there. Uh, so we just need to finish off this castle, which should be fine. I think if we have one more spare treb, we can send that across too. This castle is going to go down. Almost broken through. There we go. Should be able to go for this. There is no wall there. Ah, but there's a tree. There is a tree in the way, so we've got to carry on. It's going to take a little bit longer. castle is going to go down. Let's send this guy to attack this castle instead. Yeah, so definitely a very generous map in terms of how much time you're given. Even the achievement is very generous. I'm not sure what they were expecting to happen because Delhi did have a few waves of units that did cause me some trouble, but not exactly the most formidable opponent we've come across. There we go, so we got the Raging Wildfire achievement. We have destroyed the five castles and we're good to go on to the next mission. The Indian army relied on the charge of its dreaded elephants to shock their enemies and drive them into disorder. No stranger to the art of war, Tamerlane knew this. In a stroke of genius, he loaded the camels in his baggage train with straw and wood and set them aflame. 
whipping them toward the enemy lines. The sight terrified the elephants, who doubled back and trampled their own men. The battle was a rout. Two hundred years' worth of Indian treasure was loaded onto a train of wagons and carried back to Samarkand. In response to an uprising, Tamerlane's armies reduced the jewel of northern India to a charnel house. Death and fire mingled in a putrid stench that enveloped Delhi for weeks. Still, Tamerlane was not satisfied. There was unfinished business to the west. Yeah, so it's safe to say we are um, very much playing as the villains in this particular campaign. Uh, I don't think there's any... I don't know, I don't think there's many nice things you can say about Tamerlane. I think he's the one, right, I mean, I'm trying to recall now, is he the one who's supposed to have had... I mean, if you're actually watching this playlist, which very few people will, but if you are, um, you might have already heard this in one of the previous episodes, but isn't he the guy who built mountains out of skulls? Anyway, that's Sultan of Hindustan, that is how you get the achievement associated with this mission as well. Next up we have Mission 5 of the Tamerlane campaign, do join me for that, do click the playlist link in the description to watch any other episodes. But that is going to be all for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.